see him live to understand the hype. It feels good to sing with the crowd. He barely has. I ain't gonna lie. That's what I, I noticed. So when I see your favorite rapper not selling out arenas like this, stop it. It's a raw wave hate that needs to end. I don't think nobody hate on him. Now, I do think, I think Rod Wave has the best conversion because the amount of arenas I've seen him sell out, I thought Rod Wave was selling like 200,000 first week. He wasn't. Like, I think he's selling like maybe like 110, something like that. So, salute to Rod Wave, man. It's the guy. Okay. Um, Burner Boy, for as much support as I, I, I give to him, and, you know, obviously he's an African artist. He dropped his new project. I told him it sold 21,000 first week. What do y'all think about that? I think that's kind of good. You know, um, in, in the era of Afro fusion or Afro beats artists kind of like trans, like, you know, kind of crossing over to the U.S. market. Um, him, Kid, Davido, um, they are pioneers in that. Um, you know, Davido just sold 17,000 first week, which was almost like a record. And he's now selling 21,000. Um, I, I hope Thames could sell, drop a record soon that we could see what she would sell. Um, also we had Wizkid who dropped a record, I believe earlier this year, or maybe last year, and he sold 13,000 as well. So again, I see Afro beats artists getting a lot of love in the U S and I'm telling you, the U S is, is starting to be really warm to international acts before they wouldn't fuck with like, whether it's dancehall or Jamaican acts or, or, or UK acts, especially UK acts. You know what I mean? Like. A lot of UK acts used to get clowned for just their their accent. Like, for example, shit, Skepta, um, Giggs. Shit, I, I ain't like how Giggs was like, yo, I ain't like that shit we did on Drake shit. But these days, UK artists are are popping. Um, Central C, one of the biggest artists out of UK, he got one of the biggest songs actually in America now with uh, uh, Dave, uh, that Sprinter song. So them shits is going up. So anyway, Burner Boy is doing 21,000. I'm going to continue to watch how these African artists continue to do in this culture is going to tell me how much U.S. culture is starting to embrace them or reject them or not, or maybe not embrace them or reject them. Um, how much U.S. cultures start becoming ingratiated with the worldwide culture. Now, keep in mind, even though he's selling 21,000, he's not your favorite flopped artist. He does arenas. He did City Field. He's doing multiple stadiums like City Field is a stadium. You know what I mean? Um, that's bigger than Madison Square Garden, bigger than the Barclays, the stadium. So those numbers aren't really um, indicative of, like, really how big he is. I've seen Russell in the comment section that says, if Burner Boy is doing 21K in America and selling out arenas in America as well, how come artists who sell more than that in America aren't doing arenas in America? Take a wild guess. That's a good point. That is true. Burner Boy sells out, fuck arenas, stadiums. Well, I won't say every stadium. He'll definitely do every arena. He sells out arenas in, in the United States. Russ is asking, if he's selling out arenas and he's only doing 21K, what about these other niggas who are doing way more than 21K? Why are they not selling out arenas? That's a good point. That's a good point. All right. Let that be.